to breaking news. Stocks plunge as U.S. inflation hits a new high. The Dow dropped 880 points. The S&P lost 116, and the Nasdaq closed 414 points lower. The Labor Department reporting inflation at 8.6 percent, and wages are not keeping up either. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports adjusting for inflation, average hourly earnings have gone down 3 percent. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes spoke with New Yorkers who say every little bit helps during this sticker shock. You got some apples, it looks like, in there. Some yeah, cereal. Yeah, and cereal. Cynthia Burgess showed us the free groceries in her trunk, giving her reason to smile amid the latest dim economic news. They keep raising the rent. All prices are going up except our paychecks. Today, the Labor Department reported inflation has surged yet again to a new 40 year high. 8.6% in May, a jump from 8.3% in April, driven by higher prices for housing, food, and gas. Nearly everything costs more for everyone across the country, but especially for people like Burgess on a fixed income. She and others picked up free food at this Catholic Charities event in the Bronx. It means a whole lot. Yes, Lord, it does. Milk, cheese, like eggs, everything is expensive nowadays. What to do about all of this depends on who you ask. Republicans continue to attack the president's policies as reasons for record high inflation. I'm doing everything in my power to blunt Putin's price hike and bring down the cost of gas and food. 8.6% is the largest 12-month increase since December 1981. Greg McBride, chief financial analyst at Bankrate.com, says back then, the Fed drastically raised interest rates to reverse inflation. It worked. It broke the back of inflation, and we've enjoyed 40 years of declining interest rates since. But the price was pretty heavy. We had uh, a double dip, back-to-back uh, -back recessions, uh, and at one point, uh, unemployment had uh, it crested above 10 percent. McBride says this time, unfortunately, the Fed will again have to raise interest rates aggressively. As for prices, he says consumers may start to see them improve in the next six months, but they'll still be very high. In the West Farm section of the Bronx, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.